I'm going to tell you a story which, is, which this next song is all about. It's all about a very unfortunate girl, or lucky girl, depending on how you feel about this sort of thing, who gets seduced by, thank you, Matty, by a nasty young soldier who is definitely the villain of the piece. And her garter comes untied as she's walking along the road. And this lovely young, I mean, horrible young soldier um, spots that it's come untied and offers to tie it up for her and the whole thing becomes absolutely unbroadcastable. <laughs> and anyway, it's, it's really terrible. But she's really nice and she's very musical and she sings as he's seducing her. <laughs> that's how Mozart started, that's what they told me anyway. And, he, and she sings, she sings very profound. Folder all little all day. You've got to get that absolutely right, and you've all got to join in, you see, it's very important. Folder on little all day. And it's called the ups and downs. I'll tell you why it's called the ups and downs, because I'm going to tell you anyway, despite these yobs here. Um, because this, this soldier comes from a regiment, which, which we British were proud to call the 69th Foot. Which is absolutely ridiculous. But 69 is the same upside down as it is downside up, you see. So they called it the ups and downs. It's history in the making, folks, and it's in the key of A. What more could any civilized man want? The ups and downs. One, two, three, Business 
across the market with butter, cheese and whey. We both jogged on together, me boys, folder our little all day. And we both jogged on together, me boys, folder our little all day. As we jogged on together, me boys, together side to side. By chance the spare mate's got her, by chance it came untied. For fear that she might lose it, I am to her to say. Thank you. 
do a we'll do a an agricultural ballad of a, of a shepherd and his girlfriend. His girlfriend doesn't want to be a shepherd's wife, she decides on further thought. And leaves the poor shepherd to become a servant of a fine lady. That is, she becomes the servant of a fine lady. And he's very fed up about this and decides to go off and leave shepherding. Perhaps to become a fine lady. Who knows? Yes. It's called Sheep, Cook and Black Dog.
concerns the age-old euphemism of the spotted cow. Um, this young lady is out with her spotted cow and she loses it and this young man ably assists her to find her spotted cow and this is where the euphemism creeps in because um, she finds her spotted cow but she doesn't find her spotted cow and so every time he passes by she calls him to help her to find her spotted cow <coughs> but as to whether the spotted cow was found or not I don't know So a woman came up in the hotel this morning and asked if my ponytail was real and when I told her that it wasn't she proceeded to try and pull it off which is very exciting actually sometime during this evening's performance a young lady is going to rush up onto the stage and start biting my knees and she's going to be wearing a frogman's outfit and sunglasses don't worry, she does it everywhere, everywhere we go. Anyway, these two jigs were collected by a very famous collector called Lady Isabel Barnett, who collected these two tunes up to her knees in peat, in a peat bog in Ireland. And she collected them off a, a roaming nun who was originally found in the Andes, throwing coelacanths about on the beach. Thank you.
check some dates from just previous or just after, some around the time of the Jacobite Rebellion of 1645? 1745. <coughs> which was a war between the Highland clans of Scotland and the Lowland clans in England. <coughs> this is one of the Highland clan songs. Scottish history um, in different keys and this is about George the first who was on the throne at the time of the first Scottish rebellion first Jacobite rebellion which was in 1715 and they the Scots didn't like George the first partly because he was German partly because he was Protestant and partly because he wasn't Scots and so they they wrote these many um, anti George songs and this is one of them and it's called Come Me Off for France. <laughs> 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 
and uh, refers to him as Geordie Welps, which is a highly derogatory term in Scots, and refers to his goings on at a Kittle Hoosie, which is Scottish um, dialect for, for a brothel, uh, with his mistress of the time that was called the Goosey. It's a nickname. It's called Coming Off for France because a lot of the exiles um, in the Jacobite Rebellion went to France to escape um, being called by the English, basically. Another song of seduction, thank God. I'm in need of. Hang on, I'm just going to get a drink. No, I can't. It's on the radio, can I? Um, it's about a horrible witch, really nasty witch called Alison Gross. I'll repeat that, Alison Gross. Thank you. Alison Gross, Alison Gross, right it's water. through the glen. Alison. 
And this horrible witch tries to seduce a nice, innocent young man, such as myself. It's really tragic. By offering him gifts, like new guitars and sobering up pills, and nice shirts and things. And um, he refuses to be seduced, so she turns him into a worm. Let that be immoral. Alison Gross that lives in yon town, the ugliest witch in the North Country, has twisted me one day up to her bower, and many a first speech she made to me. She broke my head and she's curled my head. She sent me down softly on her knee. Says if you be my love is so true, so many good things I would get to keep. Away, away, you ugly witch. Go far away and let me weep. I never would be your love is so true. And I wish I were a father to me. Alison Gross, she must be the ugliest witch in the North Country. She showed me a shirt of the soft silk, well wrought with pearls about the band. Says if you will be my lover so true, this goodly gift you shall demand. Alison Rose, she might be the ugliest witch in the North Country. Alison Rose, she might be.
the next song is in Latin. It's called Gaudete, which means rejoice. This song has recently been arranged for football boot and jaws harp. Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgin Mary, Gaudete. Gaudete Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgin Mary, Gaudete, Gaudete, Gaudete Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgin Mary, Gaudete. Gaudete, Gaudete, Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgin Mary, Gaudete, 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 Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgin Mary, Gaudete. Gaudete, Gaudete, Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgin Mary, Gaudete, 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 Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgin Mary, Gaudete. Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgin Mary, Gaudete, 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 Christus es natus, ex Maria Virgin Mary, Gaudete. Thank you very much. We'll finish with a, a, another Scottish song. Um, this one's much earlier than the last two and relates to a young man and woman meeting in the woods and we all know what happens in the woods. And it all happens in the second verse. And by the third verse, the young girl asks the young man what his name is. Well, it being the third verse, of course, he doesn't want to give his name, so he gives it in Latin to evade detection but she's a bit crafty because she knows Latin and translates it back into Scots. Turns out to be Willie, a very common Scottish name. But he is put out when he hears his name pronounced and he is caught, but decides to leap upon his horse and ride off. But she still fancies him, God knows why. And so she hooks up her petticoats and runs after him and outpaces the horse. And so it's a very old song. An old horse, I think. <laughs> Call the Royal Forester.
some more you're gonna have to make some noise come on let's bring him out again steel eye span Thanks very much. There's, a, there's an Irish tune which is called The Mason's Apron, but the only thing it has to recommend it, apart from being the fact that it's Irish, is the fact that its name can be turned around to spell My Sons of Prawn, which is, which is far nicer than Mason's Apron. 